In this tutorial, I will show you how you can get user input in C++ to make your programs more dynamic. So we start here with a very minimal program with just an empty int main. So to get user input, I'm going to use the cin function okay, from the standard C++ library. And to use the cin function, you first have to include iostream. Okay, so you can see you can have auto completion on some IDEs or text editor. So include brackets iostream. Okay, so with angle brackets. And now in the main, what we are going to do is to ask the user age and then print the user age. Okay, so first I'm going to create a variable int user age. Okay, I'm just going to uh, declare it like that. And now I'm going to use std colon colon c in. Okay, this is the function c in with angle brackets that are pointed to the right and then user age and then semicolon. So basically the c in function is going to ask uh, for the user in the terminal for some text or whatever the user can give and try to put that inside a variable. Okay, so first you need to create a variable, at least declare it, and then you can use c in and put the result inside that variable. So let's just run that code. I have the code runner extension here on Visual Studio Code. I'm going to run that. And you can see the program here, the program hangs. Okay, so I need to type something, for example, test, and then I press enter, and you can see the program is now finished. So the program hanged when we called C in, okay, and then the test is put inside user age. So you can see here, I can give anything I want, okay, this is a string and this is an integer but doesn't really matter you can give everything you want in c in but now well let, let's improve this code a little bit because now we don't see anything so let's actually print so let's do std c out so you have c in and c out and with c out you can see the brackets are on the opposite side as c in and let's put user age and also maybe end line so std end line so I'm going to run that again. I'm going to write test again. And you can see, so the test has been evaluated as an integer and has been evaluated to uh, zero okay, in the integer variable. And now we print zero. Now let's run that again. Let's say I give seven. Now you can see, well, I give a correct value, okay, an integer. So uh, user age is now seven and now I print seven. Well, now there is one thing we could improve is that when you can see when I run this, well, it just waits, it hangs. So basically, we don't necessarily know what we need to do. We know what we need to do because we know the code. But what if we don't know exactly what the code asks us? In this case, what we could do is before using C in, we can add some text like some placeholders to ask, for example, what is your age? So I'm going to do std c out so how old are you and i'm not going to add um end line okay so we are going to write the result just after this so how old are you and then c in we get the user age and then we print the user age let's run that and now you can see how old are you so this is much better okay let's say 30 enter and then 30. so now as improvements what you could do is first to validate the data, okay, to make sure, like, for example, what you get is the correct type, and then uh, validate the data if you give something that is not possible. Like, for example, here for user age, let's say you give minus two, okay, minus two doesn't exist for user age, or if you give, for example, 200. So you may want to validate the data to make sure that what you receive is correct and that you can use it. In your code and one more thing you can uh, improve here for readability maybe is you can see we use stdc out stdc in etc etc you can add here using namespace std and then you can just remove all the std stuff okay because you use namespace std and this is gonna work the same if you like this video subscribe to get more tutorials like this in the future also, check out my online courses so you can learn C++ step by step in an efficient way by practicing and directly going to the point. Links in the description. 
Alright, thank you for watching, see you in the next tutorial or in one of my courses.